Unless you drive an old air-cooled Beetle, your car relies on its radiator to keep the engine cool. Without the correct fluid levels, your engine's temperature can rise unchecked, which could lead to catastrophic and very expensive repairs. But all that bad stuff can be easily prevented simply by checking that radiator fluid levels are where they should be. It doesn't require any tools or specialist knowledge and really takes little more than a quick glance. Before you open the bonnet, make sure the car's engine is cool and that the car is parked on flat ground with the handbrake on tight and the ignition switched off. Pop the bonnet and locate your radiator fluid reservoir. In some cars, it's color-coded yellow. New cars are not filled through the radiator and have a pressurized system that simply doesn't work once air is trapped inside. So forget the radiator cap and instead locate the radiator fluid reservoir. If you're unsure which one it is, consult your owner's manual. Once you've located the reservoir, you'll see two horizontal lines marked on the side. The lower line represents the minimum quantity of fluid required for usual running, the higher line the maximum. If the fluid sits between these two lines, everything's fine and you don't need to do anything. But if the fluid sits below the lower line, it's a good idea to top it up. Now you'll notice that we've said radiator fluid and not water when referring to your car's cooling system. It's important to check your owner's manual and make sure the fluid you're adding to the cooling system is the same recommended by the manufacturer. Some cars don't like water at all, so make sure you've got the correct fluid on hand before opening the cap. Topping up the coolant is as simple as opening the cap and slowly adding more fluid until the level reaches the higher line. Don't overfill the reservoir and remember never to open the cap when your engine is hot as you could get a nasty burn. Once you're happy the coolant reservoir is at its correct level, replace the cap tightly and close your bonnet securely. It really is as easy as that.